Look at this beautiful color. I call it a uh, classy red. Yeah, I'm in the car because it's rude. Rude? I'm in the car because it. Am I having a stroke? I'm in the car because it is windy outside. And I don't think this little microphone deals with the wind that good. I might try later on, but I want to make sure that I have some backup. Let's keep it at that. Today I was in Malta. I had some breakfast, well, it was more of lunch. But it was good, it was club sandwich. Enjoyed the view, had some frappe, just iced coffee. But now I need to do something useful, apart from talking to you guys, because that's always useful. Uh, but no, I, I want to test my drone. Like I said yesterday, I got a new drone and I want to test it. And this is a good environment. I want to go someplace safe to fly it, where in case it crashes, because I'm clumsy, I can retrieve it easily. If I do it over the sea and it crashes, it's gone. I was speaking out of experience. That's the way I lost my first drone. And then slowly get to know it a little bit. And then as the, the week progresses, we'll probably do some more risk stuff with the drone and kind of uh, see what we can do with it. Today I want to kind of start it easy, easy mode. So let's find a spot and let's get some air in this car because Jesus Christ, it's hot in here. I was waiting for the compliment like it's because you're in the car. But I guess that's not coming. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> You have arrived. Man, and they gave me this um, rather tall car. It's a, give me a second. It's a Suzuki Splash, but it, it is quite high. So it's easy. I can just put my tripod on top of the car and ta-da. I'm um, at the archeological site of Agra Triada. You might remember that if you've seen my previous videos because I filmed here last year. I did this whole speech on why I keep coming back to Crete. I'm not going to do that one again. If you want to know why, go check out the video. Now the idea now is to kind of fly my drone, right? And I picked this spot because it's really quiet. The archeological site. I like the way that I pronounce that. Archeological site. Uh, the site is closed, so everybody is gone. There's an open space, enough for me to fly. And there's interesting things to see. This is really important you need to travel around. There's a good, huge bottle of water. Splash it, there's plenty of it for now. Right here, I'm going to try and point at it. There's this hill and it has this kind of circular thing on top. I don't know what it is, it looks like ruins because you have these, um, these trees, like pine type of trees. They're kind of neatly ordered around it. So it's definitely something that was man-made. Now, I'm not going to fly up there just yet today, but I definitely want to find out what it is. Maybe I'll do that later this week. Now I kind of want to start out, show you guys the drone, see what we can do, what fun footage we can make with it. I'm going to grab it. So remember what I told you yesterday about the fly more pack? This is a case you get with the fly more pack, but this is from my other drone, the DJI Mavic Mini 2, which I still have, but I didn't bring. So this is the remote, this is also quite a nice upgrade from the DJI Mini 2. So the DJI Mini 2 had this, basically this part, it was a little bigger than this, but there was no screen. You had to kind of attach your phone to the controller. There would be an app and you would use your phone to fly. This is the controller and this is the drone. It's small, right? But it's kind of folded up now, so it is bigger. Shh, it's okay, buddy. It's not the size that matters. It is definitely bigger than the uh, Mavic Mini and the Mavic Mini 2. But, and that's the most important part, it still only weighs 249 grams. Why is that so important? Anything above 250 you need to license for here in Europe. And in other parts, parts of the world it's the same thing. Drones that are more than 250 grams, you need to have uh, registered, you need to sometimes have a license to fly them. These licenses are not always too difficult to get. But it's, uh, it's another piece of paperwork you have to do, which I'll definitely be doing at some point. I really enjoy flying drones. For now, the only thing I do with it is make videos for you guys. 277 people. Maybe one day I have 278 subscribers and then... <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like I said, this unfolds. This is what it looks like unfolded. Here's the camera on a gimbal. All the other minis kind of film in a landscape. This one can film in landscape and portrait, which is awesome for Instagram and TikTok. This is the battery, look at this. It's the biggest part of the whole thing. It isn't that heavy though. There's a small SD card in there. Let's boot it up. So yeah, he's ready. That's all I need to do. Now it's going to connect and it's going to tell me if it's safe to fly. Well, apparently I'm in a enhanced warning zone. 
So the GPS will kind of pinpoint where you are. And as with any aircraft, the authorities have mapped out a few zones where you can fly or a few zones where you need to be extra careful. Uh, those are usually airports, military installations. Uh, there's a, a military base not that far from here that includes an airport, but it is still pretty far away. And it's not like I'm not allowed to film here or to fly here. It's just like, be careful. There's other parts of the island where you can just freely fly and there's like no restrictions at all. You can fly this almost everywhere. You can fly it over cities, over villages, over... Except for these restricted zones where nobody can fly or you need a special permit. Let's have a look and take off. Are you guys nervous too? You guys see it? There's like motion sensor, no, there's like a, a collision sensors on this thing. The thing is it doesn't have collision sensors on the sides. So it only has them in front, back and bottom. So if I start straving, I might be in trouble. So let's just fly straight. You can fly anywhere you want. I'm not making any judgments. I mean, I'm just going to fly straight onwards. I almost got canceled there. The thing why I want to practice flying it is um, because it does take some getting used to. I haven't flown a drone in quite a while, since last year. It, I find it personally, I find it li sometimes a little nerve wracking because it's an expensive tool. I've crashed one before. <laughs> There's a second thing to it. It feels weird to be controlling something that is so high up because I think I somewhat extend myself to that drone and I feel like I'm flying that high. If that makes any sense. I can get through that by just doing it. It's almost forcing it, like just fly it and at some point you get numb for that feeling. It's almost like a primal thing you have to fight. I know, I'm weird. I warned you many a times. Yeah, I just wasted about half my, my memory card. That was funny. So, I think I flew like 15 minutes max. And the battery is uh, almost depleted. I think the controller tells me I have about seven minutes left. So yeah, one battery doesn't get you that far. So it really sucks that I didn't get my other batteries. But it's so much fun to fly with. I got some nice shots for TikTok that I'll be sharing on TikTok. It's not um, Damesy's TV on TikTok. I have a separate TikTok account, which is called Damesy's Travels. Because Damesy's TV is on TikTok, is mainly about my channel, my Twitch channel and gaming and stuff like that. I think I'm going to make a lot of nice footage. I just wish I had more time uh, to travel and film with it. But hopefully one day, that's what I want to do, is travel and make videos for you guys. This type of content is also really fun to make and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Now I'm going back to the hotel, take a quick shower and then go for dinner. I think I'm done for now. Have a good day guys, take care. I'll see you tomorrow. If you feel like it, subscribe so I can get that pilot license. Bye bye.